Another day, another daily read aloud coming at you live from Miss Lorenz's office. Um, we have an exciting story for you today. This one is by an author who we've already read one of his books. Um, and so you might actually be able to tell from some of the pictures that they look kind of similar to some of his other ones, right? So let's say the book is called Owen and it's by Kevin Hankies. And if you look, these mice look very similar to another couple mice that we've met in the past from the story Chrysanthemum, right? So it's by the same author, which means sometimes their illustrations look the same too. So we just got lucky and we get to look at some more beautiful illustrations by Kevin Hankies. And if we look too, this one also has a Caldecott medal, which means that it is a wonderful book that has won lots of awards, um, especially Caldecott, that's a big deal. So we know it's a good book already before we even open the pages. Are you ready to get started? Let's go! The story is called Owen, and it's by Kevin Hankies. And I'm not really sure what's going on in this story quite yet. We got some girl mouse looking with some binoculars over a fence, and a little boy mouse with a little blanket in tow. So I wonder what they're up to. I wonder who Owen is. Let's see. Owen had a fuzzy yellow blanket. He'd had it since he was a baby. He loved it with all his heart. So there's Owen sitting with his blanket. Not sure who that is just yet. Maybe we'll find out soon. You can kind of still tell he's a little bit of a baby because he's sucking his thumb and holding onto his blankie. Fuzzy goes where I go, said Owen, and Fuzzy did. Upstairs, downstairs, in between, inside, outside, upside down. Fuzzy likes what I like, said Owen, and Fuzzy did. Orange juice, grape juice, chocolate milk, ice cream, peanut butter, and applesauce cake. So he went everywhere with this blanket, even to the bathroom. And then he also ate everything on his blanket. So imagine how dirty it would get. Poor Mama Mouse has to clean it up. He's giggling. Fuzzy's messy. Oh, a little bit. Just a little bit, Owen. Isn't he getting a little old to be carrying that thing around? Asked Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the blanket fairy? Owen's parents haven't. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. Hmm, so I wonder what, Mrs. Tweezers must be the neighbor. She must live next door. But I wonder what she's up to. If she doesn't think Owen should have that blanket anymore, he's getting too old. That night, Owen's parents told Owen to put Fuzzy under his pillow. In the morning, Fuzzy would be gone. But the blanket fairy would leave an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific big boy gift in its place. Hmm. You can tell Owen seems a little stressed out. His eyes got real big. Having a blanket like that can be really important to some kids. Or having like a stuffed animal or some sort of toy. It's a big deal. Especially if you think it's not going to be yours for much longer. Owen stuffed Fuzzy inside his pajama pants and went to sleep. So he didn't put him under the pillow. So I guess he gets no big boy gift. No blanket fairy, said Owen in the morning. No kidding, said Owen's mother. No wonder, said Owen's father. And there he is. He shoved it right down his pants. Ah, goodness gracious. Definitely a goofy little boy, for sure. He's trying everything to keep this blanket, right? Fuzzy's dirty, said Owen's mother. Fuzzy's torn and ratty, said Owen's father. No, said Owen. Fuzzy is perfect. And Fuzzy was. Fuzzy played Captain Plunger with Owen. To the rescue! Oh my goodness. He's naked and running around and throwing things in the toilet. Probably not a good idea. Fuzzy helped Owen become invisible. Bet you can't see me. I, I don't think he's really invisible. I think he's just being a little silly. Mom and Dad look a little bit annoyed. <laughs> 
And fuzzy was essential, which means super important, when it came to nail clippings and haircuts and trips to the dentist. So he used fuzzy as like um, comfort, right? He would hold on to his blanket when he was scared, like the dentist's office, haircuts, and getting his nails cut. That can be scary for some kids. Can't be a baby forever, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the vinegar trick? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. Mrs. Tweezers. She is getting in everybody's business. But she really thinks Owen is too old for his blanket. When Owen wasn't looking, his father dipped Owen's favorite corner of fuzzy into a jar of vinegar. <gasps> and if you've ever had vinegar, it's really, it's got a really strong taste to it. It doesn't taste very good. Unless you like salt and vinegar chips, which I do. But it's an acquired taste. Owen oh, sniffed it and smelled it and sniffed it. He picked a new favorite corner. So that didn't stop him, right? He just found a new part of his blanket that he would hold on to. Then he rubbed the smelly corner all around his sandbox, buried it in the garden, dug it up again. Good as new, said Owen. Hmm. So he fixed it so it wouldn't taste like vinegar anymore. Owen's a clever kid. Maybe he is too old for a blanket. Seems like he's thinking like a big boy. Fuzzy wasn't very fuzzy anymore, but Owen didn't mind. He carried it and wore it and dragged it. He sucked it and hugged it and twisted it. So he is putting this poor blanket through the ringer, right? He throws it in the air, he cuddles with it, he drags it on the ground. Think of all the germs you can get on that. Then he brings in the bathtub with him and sucks the water out of it. Ugh, that's gross. Cuddles with it in bed and then twists it when he's watching like it looks like a scary movie or something. So this blanket seems pretty gross, pretty dirty. What are we going to do? Asked Owen's mother. School is starting soon, said Owen's father. Can't bring a blanket to school, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of saying no? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. So now they're telling him, telling them basically, you gotta take that blanket away. I have to bring Fuzzy to school, said Owen. No, said Owen's mother. No, said Owen's father. Owen buried his face in Fuzzy. He started to cry. It would not stop. It's tough when you have something like a stuffed animal or a blanket that you hold on to when you're scared of things. Going to school is a big deal, especially when you're a kindergartner like we are. It's a big deal, so it's it can be really scary, and I'm sure he wanted his blanket with him. But when you're growing up, there's some things that you gotta remember that are for babies, and some things that are for big kids, and then adults. We all change, right? Don't worry, said Owen's mother. It'll all be all right, said Owen's father. And then suddenly, Owen's mother said, I have an idea. It was absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific idea. First, she sniffed, and then she sewed, and then she sewed again, and sewed some more. Oh my goodness, look at their faces. Mom started doing something to Fuzzy. Dad is freaking out. He's not sure what's going on. And poor Owen is crying. His eyes are getting big. He looks very upset. So I wonder, I wonder. I hope Mom fixes it and doesn't make it worse. Hmm. Snip, snip, snip. So, so, so. Dry your eyes. Wipe your nose. Hooray, hooray, hooray! Now Owen carries one of his not-so-fuzzy handkerchiefs with him wherever he goes. So Mom took his blanket and turned it into a handkerchief, which is a little tiny piece of fabric that people can put in their pockets for it to blow their nose, like kind of like a tissue, um, or to wipe their mouth or things like that. So she turned them into little handkerchiefs so that he could wear them on his outfit and have fuzzy with him but still be a big kid. That's really awesome. And look at Owen. He is so happy. That's a great idea. His mom is a smart cookie. I like her. 
and Mrs. Tweezers doesn't say a thing. So even Mrs. Tweezers has her own handkerchief, right? So they both are very lucky that they get to carry around with them something very special. The end. I love the story because when we're little, I think we all either want to grow up really fast or we don't want to grow up at all. And I think this story is a great compromise, which means that it takes both of those things and kind of makes a new decision. And so he gets to stay young and gets to keep his fuzzy blanket. But at the same time, he also grows up a little bit. He still has to go to school and fuzzy blankets, just not something you get to carry around with you. So I want you guys to think back to something when you were little for your book challenge, um, something that you absolutely loved. I know when I was little, my little sister had a blanket like this that she loved and it was gross. She would take it everywhere with her. Um, and so that was her thing. She loved it. I had a stuffed animal, I think it was a puppy, that I would take with me everywhere. And when I got older, I realized I had to leave it at home. I couldn't take it with me in certain places. But that's okay because I was growing up and that was important. So think about something that you had when you were little. Maybe it was a stuffed bunny, a blanket, um, maybe it's some sort of toy that you had or picture whatever it might be, and tell me about it. What was it, and when did you decide that it was time to let it go, right? Or turn it into something new like Owen's mom did to, you know, help him out a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I think it's a great story for especially us kindergartners to read because we're, have, we're always growing up and changing, and it's important that we don't lose sight that we're still a kid, but Sometimes we have to take big steps forward, too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I can't wait to see some of the book challenges you guys come up with. And I will see you very soon on Monday for another Daily Read Lab. Bye, guys. See you later.